fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver, on the trail of the Black Arrow. Lone Silver, away! With the information that the Calvert Ranch was the stronghold of the Black Arrow, the Lone Ranger and Tonto headed west from the Missouri River. On and on they rode through the forest across the badlands of the Dakotas into the green hills of Wyoming. The Bighorn Mountains loomed in the distance. Lone Silver, we're heading for the Calvert Ranch. Get him up, cow, across the mountains, boy. We've got to hurry. Faster, Silver, faster. <laughs> Calvert Ranch was the biggest spread in Sherman County, and on Saturday, the Bar C. Callhands crowded Sherman City. Ann Davis stopped for a moment outside the general store and watched half a dozen of them gallop down the main street, yelling and shooting. Killers. If we had any law in this county, they'd be in jail. What's that about the law, Miss Ann? Oh, get out of my way, Red Dixon. Well, haven't you heard? I'm the law here. Yeah, fine, Sheriff. Well, I got a badge that proves it. <laughs> of course, I don't remember to wear it often, but... As far I... as I'm concerned, you're the foreman of the bar, see, and nothing more. You're just as bad as your men. Oh, now that ain't respectful. Let me buy. Pretty girl like you shouldn't be carrying her own basket. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you what a gent I am. I'm going to carry it for you and help you into your buggy. Take your hands <laughs> off me. <laughs> Didn't you hear the lady red? You said to take your hands off. I don't like that, Turner. Why don't you let her get into the buggy? You're talking to your boss. You haven't been for long. It isn't hard for me to forget it. Go on, Turner. Go on down to the cafe with the rest of the boys. This ain't any of your business. I'm making it my business. Where I come from, we always mind our manners with a lady. Get out of here. I'll let you have it. You let me have what? I'll show you. I always return a compliment like that, Red. <coughs> now, miss, if Look you out. Want... He's going for his gun. I noticed that. You're covered, mister. I want to thank you, but you shouldn't have done this. You're new in Sherman County. You don't know what you've let yourself in for. Well, maybe you could tell me more about that. What? 
I'm dead certain I've lost myself a job for one thing. My horse is right here. Would it be all right if I rode for you with a weight? Yeah, you better do that. You can come out to our ranch. Well, you, Red, take it easy. Don't try to get up till after we're started. Come on, Beth. Get out. I got some advice, Turner. Get out of the county or you'll pay for this with your life. You'll have to learn to draw a little faster, Red. Get up, Chief. Matt Davis and his wife, Jane, were sitting in the living room of their ranch house. Mrs. Davis was sewing, but her eyes strayed to the trail every now and then. At last, she saw a cloud of dust in the distance. Quickly, she put aside her sewing and started for the door. I wonder if anything's wrong. Where are you going, Jane? Anne's come back from town. She's driving mighty fast. Well, she always does. Someday that buggy's going to fall apart. There's a cowboy riding beside her. Yeah. Don't look like any of our boys. Matt, I shouldn't have let her go into town alone on a Saturday. Well, she looks hale and hearty to me. All that bar C crowd roaming the streets with nobody to keep them in line. It's a sin and a shame, that's what it now, is. don't get yourself riled up, Jane. Whoa, Beth. Whoa, girl, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Anne, are you all right? I'm fine, Ma. What's your name? Bob Turner. Oh, I'm Ann Davis. I want you to meet my mom and Paul. Howdy. This is Bob Turner. I'm pleased to meet you. You're the same. He's been working for the bar C. The but... bar C. Get off of this porch, you ornery low dog. Now listen to the girl, Jane. This boy may have worked for the bar C, but he don't wear the brand on his face. Red Dixon got smart just as I was coming out of the store and Bob put him in his place. It means he's lost his job. Can't we find a place for him here, Paul? How do you put Red in his place? That's what I want to know. <laughs> you knocked him down and then showed up his draw. Yippee! <laughs> I'm looking for him. Oh, no, I wouldn't ask for that, Mr. Davis. Matter of fact, I don't know whether I can take the job or not. You don't mean to say you're going to take Red's advice and hightail it out of the county. I reckon not, Miss Ann. Then you've got to find a job someplace. Yeah. But first, there's a little business I'll have to attend to. I'm going to take myself a ride up in the hills. And afterwards, well, if it's all right, I'll be glad to go to work. I, uh, I apologize for what I called you, young man. Well, that's all right, ma'am. What's up in the hills? Why are you going up nah, there? Never mind, Ann. All we care about is when's you coming back. My business shouldn't take long. I'll be back by nightfall. Well, I'll try to make it in time for supper. I will. Adios. Adios. Pa. What, Ann? I can't help thinking there's outlaws up in the hills. Got any doubts about Bob? Not from looking at his face. <laughs> I can't always tell by that, though. Get up there, Chief. Ann's right. Handsome is as handsome does. <laughs> Lone Ranger and Tonto had made their camp in the shelter of the hills above the range. The rays of the sun were fading in the west, and the campfire gathered brightness from the dusk. A faint sound, and the masked man was on his feet. He waited, alert, watchful. Then, unmistakably, the sound of hoofbeats reached his ears. Tonto walked to his side. Somebody ride this way. Bob, Tonto. I didn't expect him so soon. Howdy, masked man. Hello, Bob. Hello, Tonto. Hi. What happened? Weren't you able to get a job? Well, that part of it was easy. I landed the day before yesterday. They'll take on anybody who can handle a gun. Did you ever talk with Calvert? No. From what Dixon told me, you're expected to work around the place a couple of weeks before you even see him. I guess I won't have the chance. Why not? Well, I got myself fired today. Red forgot his manners with a young lady in town. And, well, I just couldn't stand by, masked man. Uh, of course not. Her name was Davis, and her paws offered me a job. Shall I take it? It might be a good idea. But what about the bar C? You said they'd hire anyone who can handle a gun. Oh, not you. Just one look at Silver. You can't wear your mask. Hanno can fix up a disguise. And I can ride Scout. If they ever found out... All that... I want is a talk with Calvert. After that, we can make our plans. Now I'll take the job with Davis. Yes. Next to Calvert, he has the biggest spread in the county. I believe that's where they'll strike next. <laughs> long after dark, and Bob had not returned to the Davis ranch. Anne said very little, but both her mother and father realized the girl was disappointed. The three of them had decided in silence they would never see the young cow hand again. Then... Of course is our time, Paul. There's more than one. Can't be Bob. Uh, Joe and Harry might have rode up from the bunkhouse. I'll open it. 
Judd Calvert. I'm here too, sister. And Red, what do you want? We came to see you, Pa. You ain't welcome here, Calvert. Arrest him, Sheriff. Sure thing. You're under arrest in the name of the law. <laughs> Just look at that face. It's pitiful. You tried to figure out what the charge is, Davis? I haven't broke any law. Right. There ain't any charge either. But if I wanted to throw you in jail, it wouldn't have to be one. That's the way things stand in Sherman County, and the sooner you realize it, the better. You dirty little... Now, now, don't, Pa. What are you here for? Want to get down to business right away, huh? That suits me. I've decided to take over this ranch. You've decided... It ain't for sale. I guess you didn't hear me. I didn't say nothing about buying it. Get out of here. No. There won't be any money change hands at all. You're going to sign it over to your daughter. I'm going to marry her. Oh. The man's gone loco. What's the matter, Miss Ann? Don't you want to marry the boss? I'd rather die. <laughs> we could arrange that, too. Shut up. That's the way things stand, Davis. I want your ranch, and I want your daughter. I mean to have them. Over my dead body. Don't say things like that. Red might take you serious. There's a law in this state, even if there isn't in the county. I'll get the governor to send troops here. You and your gunmen are nothing but a gang of outlaws. <laughs> you said that before. I'll say it again, and we'll see what the governor says after I get finished talking to him. If you tried it, Matt, if you even started for the capital, you wouldn't get ten miles. You and your wife and your daughter are prisoners. We aren't going to let you move out of the county, and we aren't going to let you keep this ranch. The wedding takes place next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Red. <laughs> Billy Scout. Is that Davis standing in the doorway? Yeah, he's right. Put on the ground and I'll fill you full of lead. He's got a rifle. It's Turner, Mr. Davis. Oh, oh, I, I thought it was Judd and Red come back. They've been here? Yeah. Judd wanted to break the news that he was going to marry Ann and take over the ranch. If he so much as set foot on my land again, I'll shoot him for a trespasser. He might want you to try something like that. Yes. Uh, who's the big fellow with you, Bob? A friend of mine. Uh, you still figure on heading for the bar, see, mister? More than ever. I'll see you later. Where? Right here. Come on, Scout. Inside here. Yeah? I want to see Calvert. Oh, yeah? Is he here? You tell me what you want, and I'll decide whether he is or not. I've got nothing to say to you, and I'm coming inside. Get out of the way. Why are you? And don't start anything you can't finish. You think you're a mighty tough hombre, don't you? I didn't say that. Well, get this. I'm Red Dixon, see? I'm the foreman of this outfit, and what I say around here goes. You tell me what you want or I'll throw you out. I want to see Calvert. Who are you? What's your name? Is he in there? Don't you make a move. I'm warning you. Get away from that door. You dropped oh. your gun, Red. Here. Do you want to try again? Oh, you shot it out of my hand. This is the second time today somebody's outdrawn you. And that's bad for a man with your reputation, Red. You ought to keep in better practice. Uh -oh. Go on, take the gun. Try it again. Come along. What's that? I suppose this exhibition was for my benefit. Are you Calvert? Yes. My business is with you and not with your hired help. Are you ready to talk to me? What's your name? Why don't you pick out one for me? Yeah. You might just as well. It'd save me the trouble and uh, you'd be sure to remember it. <laughs> that suits me. Come on in, Trigger. We'll have a talk. Right into the office. That's the idea. There's a gun in your back, mister. Reach for the ceiling. Pronto. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. No 
now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger, without his mask, but wearing a disguise, walked into Judd Calvert's office, the rancher stuck a gun in his back and ordered him to reach. You feel the gun, Trigger? I'm not blind. Blind? There's a mirror on that wall I had. I, uh, I saw you go for it. Then why did you do something about it? Why should I? I proved I could take care of myself by taking care of Red. Yeah. You can take care of yourself. Maybe me, too. I feel more comfortable if you don't pack a shooting iron. Take them. I will. Satisfied? Just about the coolest customer I ever met. Sit down. Your desk all right? It's fine. Let's have it. Why are you here? You're smart, Judd. You ought to be able to figure that out for yourself. What a job. That depends. How big is it? As big as Sherman County. You don't own it all? Not yet, but I will. Are you going to stop there? (laughs) I'm the one who should be asking questions. There's a lot I have to find out. You haven't got the Davis spread yet or the circle dot or the flying W. Now, if they were to get together... Let them try. If they do, they could use men. They might pay more than you. You're aching for range war, aren't you? I had a little experience. You're too big for Billy the Kid. It won't do you any good to guess. I, uh, I brought up money, Judd. I'll tell you this. I got more money back of me than you can imagine. How does that sound? Sound logical. I figured you must have. More than you can imagine. What's your answer? I'll think it over. Yes or no, right now. Would you mind handing back my guns? <laughs> you win, Triggy. Here. I could use you. No sense in starting off on the wrong foot. What'll I hear from you? Tonight. Good. The same door I came in? You didn't leave your horse out and back, did you? No. I'll see you soon, Calvert. Tell Red to come in here. I will if he's around. The only trouble would be in handling him. I've got enough brains for it, though. So you're in the kitchen. Torlog. Yeah. What are you doing here? Just checking up. Who's that hombre just left? A gunman. A good man. I think I can use him. He might even make a good member of the Legion. I'll be the one to decide that. Ah, look here, Torlock. I'm running this county. I'm doing a good job. There's no need for you to come snooping around. If there's a report to make to the leader, I'll do it myself. Direct. You don't sound as if you were glad to see me. I say get out of here and let me run things my own way. <coughs> you can't get away with that. A man's going to slap me in the face. No. I could make you crawl on your hands and knees if I wanted to. Stand right where you are. I did. To a lucky man can stand so much and that's all. (laughs) You want to run things your own way, eh? Hey, that didn't mean anything. You want me to get out of here? No, no. Sure you do, and I can understand why. What gave you the idea was part of our plan for you to marry the Davis girl? That red darling. You'll what? Nothing. You wouldn't want him to keep any secrets from me, would you, Judd? No, oh, of course not. Listen, you. That man who was just in here, how much did you tell him? Enough to get him interested. That you were going to grab every ranch in the county? Yeah, I sort of hinted we might even go farther. Your plans will have to be changed. Get all your men together. You're going to have to burn out all those ranchers tonight or you'll never get away with it. What's that? You've talked too much. No, I haven't. Not to him. He's going to tie in with us. He promised to give me his answer tonight. He has, you fool. He left it here on the desk. A silver bullet. That was the Lone Ranger. I'll change the silver, Tonto. Uh, him saddle all right. My mask. Oh, yeah. Calvert, we're going to action tonight. I want you to ride to that hill overlooking the ranch. When you see which way he and his men are heading, get to the Davis Ranch as fast as you can. Ah. Come on, Silver!
Masked man. You got out of there safe. I left a calling card behind. Calvert will strike tonight. Tonight? Have you explained everything to Davis? He sure has. You stay here and get your men ready for a fight. What about me? Come on. Is your horse saddled? Yep. Just around the side of the house. You're heading for the circle dot. Round up all the men and lead them back here. Tunnel will bring us warning when they start out from the bar C. Where are you going? You got the flying W crew. That's too far. You can't get there in time. Silver can make it. Hip. Come on, boy. Get up there. As the Lone Ranger and Bob Turner raced through cross country, Red Dixon slid from the saddle in front of the cafe in town and banged his way through the swinging doors. R.C. All of you, R.C. Get in your saddles. Judd Calvert's waiting for us out at the ranch. Tonight's the night, and tomorrow the whole county belongs to us. <laughs> The Davis ranch was dark, but inside the living room, Anne and her mother sat close to the window. I don't like this waiting. Wish your pa hadn't been so positive about not lighting a lamp. I could darn some socks. You just think you could. Oh, I'm not nervous. With the Lone Ranger on our side, we can't lose. Where is he, though? Well, you heard what your pa said. Masked man sent Bob to the Circle Dart, and he's getting the men from the Flying W. Listen, horses. I can see Chet Crowder. Circle Dot. Yeah, and Bob's come back. That gives us about 30 men. Oh, Judd's got 50. It's a long way to the Flying W. Don't think about it, child. All we can do is hope and pray. It was long after midnight. Matt's men and the Circle Dot crew waited near the corral. The night was peaceful, but the men talked in nervous whispers. At last, from a distance... In the hoof beats of a single horse. What do you think, Bob? Maybe the masked man decided not to go all the way to the flying W after all. We could use the men. I'd rather do without them than do without the Lone Ranger. Oh, it ain't him. That's a paint. He was riding the white stallion when I left here. But it's Toto. Last friend not here? No, not yet. What about it? Them come from Bar C. Them come here. Well, Matt, you mind if I give the orders? You're yeah, welcome. I'm not much of a fighting man. I guess the only thing to do is to surround the house and open fire when they get within range. They're Lone Ranger now. Coming like the wind. There's men with him. He got them. Now we're fighting even, Matt. It's still going to be a fight. <laughs> They're on their way, masked man. We figured we'd surround the house. They're coming here, Tonto. Ah. Then they'll have to pass between Richmond Hill and Burnside. There isn't much of an opening. That's right. We'll split our force half on each hill. When they get to the pass, we'll charge down on them. Take them by surprise. That's the idea. But we'll have to get to the pass first. Come on, Silver. Follow the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Let me get this straight, Judd. We set fire to the buildings first. Yeah. Then when they come running out, we shoot them down. That's it. It's you to kill. Pass it with log. You see the ranch? We get through the pass, man. Right. Remember, shoot to kill. Wipe them out to the last man. What the? It's an air force. That's the Lone Ranger. Come on, air force. The honest ranchers swept down the hillside. Before the bar C gunmen could rein up and turn to face them, they were completely surrounded. They tumbled from their horses, fought for cover, desperately they fought back. But the surprise of the attack and the withering fire from the ranchers' guns put an end to the battle in less than ten minutes. Calvert's men threw down their guns and shouted their surrender to the sky. Hold it on, boys. Rope them good. Here's Calvert. I can answer for him, Bob. I saw the black girl on his wrist tonight. What about it? Take a look at Reds. Yeah. It's here. The others can go to jail. You'll have to take these two to St. Louis. I understand. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. Just turn them over to Colonel Hayden of the Intelligence Department. That's all right, masked man. You got your orders, now I've got mine. You can't hold less. Why not? That's the sheriff in this county. You can't hold us without taking the law in your own hands. I never like to do that, Judd. And that's why Bob's here. Meet the United States Marshal from Laramie. What the... You mean Bob Turner's? Yeah. United States Marshal from Laramie. Here. Shake hands with these handcuffs. Just one thing more, Judd. When I left the ranch, I saw a red sorrel tied near the corral. None of your men are riding it. Hold out right, sorrel. Yes, Tonto. Have you seen him tonight, Judd? No. We haven't seen Tolock for months. That sorrel belongs to me. Judd? Yeah. He was there. Well, you double crosser. What about him? He ordered us out here tonight. He knew we'd get this. Is he still at the ranch? No. Which way did he go? South to Salt Lake. No. West of the Yellowstone. And I hope you'll get him. We'll certainly try. Come on, Tonto. Uh, Tonto ready. Get him up, Scout! The 
Lone Ranger and Tonto galloped into the night, but not trusting Calvert completely, their first stop was the Bar C Ranch. Tonto found the tracks of a single horse heading west, and then Silver and Scout were urged to their greatest speed as they followed the trail. It was dawn before they reached the river. At noon, the masked man and the Indian found themselves in the great basin of the hot springs. Columns of steam arose on every side, and suddenly the Lone Ranger raised his arm in a signal to stop. Oh, what you see, Kimasabi? Not sure that I saw anything. Look up at the top of the rise, to the north. Ah, plenty big hot spring there. The wind's from the south. Every now and then it blows the steam away. It looks like... There. Ah, uh, Tonto see. Two men standing at the edge of the spring. That right. We go close, find out who men are. Well, this is government land. They might be soldiers. It would be hard to explain my mask. Ah. But from here we can't be sure. We'll have to take the chance and get a little closer. Kimasabi. Them start fight. One of them so much smaller than the other. He could be a boy. Um, maybe him fall in spring. That's more than a hot spring, Tonto. The steam shooting up higher and higher. Uh, uh. It's a geyser getting ready to erupt. Uh, we ride fast, warn him. It's more than a fight, Tonto. It's murder. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Fire on, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated.